good morning here we are again and we're on another adventure um, this time it's a little bit different we're doing a one night stay and the place we're going is uh, please forgive my pronunciation because I've been told my pronunciation is terrible but the Amarugame it's, it's a little town um, that we're going to go to and again I thought I'd bring you along since a lot of people seem to like my last trip I thought I'd do another one um, and as this one's to a different place and with an overnight stay you might see a few different things so again please come along for the ride um, today the train we are going to get is we are getting sakura which basically means cherry blossom in Japanese and uh, again this is an eight car Shinkansen and again as normal the first three carriages one two and three are unreserved and My next train is a local train. It's going to be at 8.49. So I should get to my station um, just before 9 o'clock, which gives me enough time, hopefully, to walk down to the shopping centre because the place that I'm working today is about 20, 30 minute walk from the station. Now, there is a bus I believe I can get, but I'd rather walk because I don't know what time the buses are. So, yeah, it's slowly getting there and it's working out it's a bit more daunting than the last trip I did um, because it's a bit more transfers but uh, yeah it's been fun so far fun.
we've arrived and uh, talk about the tiny, tiny little station. That's it. Um, just a platform. I ended up giving my ticket to the station, the beta train driver, to get off. Um, and there we are. Now I've got to find my classroom uh, that I'm teaching in today. So that's my next bit. So um, I'm going to go for now. So I've got to figure out how to get there. And um, let's talk to you later, okay? Right, it seems that the um, where I'm going is just down this road. So um, it's going to be pretty easy to get to. Um, and as most of you probably realised, I'm back in Shikoku Island. Um, and as I said, this is a, an overnight trip, so I'll be staying here overnight. And for people who haven't watched my previous videos and don't know, um, I'm an English teacher here and I travel around to different classrooms and my company and uh, teach in different places. And we're covering some of the people's lessons at the moment. Um, so I'm getting to go on these wonderful business trips. Um, yeah, that's really it. I had a 6 a.m. start this morning. Uh, my lessons start at 10.15. I should be finished at 7. And then I have a 30-minute walk to my hotel, which I then have to book into. And then I should be set up for the night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you definitely for this time for now and come back when I finish my lessons and uh, we'll see how I get to this hotel and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so until then, why don't you just go and get yourself a cup of coffee and for you it's just going to be a moment but for me it's going to be half my working day. So, see you in a second. Right, it's uh, 20 past 7. I'm on my way to my hotel. Um, had a wonderful day with my students, it's been absolutely great. Um, that's all I can say. It's drizzling down, it's a bit wet, but luckily I've got my rain gear with me, so I'm okay. Um, and uh, I just can't wait to get to my hotel. So, uh, if I see anything interesting on the way, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Well, I hope okay. you can see Bye. me this light now. Um, got back into the city, um, very close to the hotel now. Just got a weather warning on my phone to say that there's going to be heavy rainstorms in the next 10 15 minutes. Um, so I'm hoping to be in the hotel by then. And uh, yeah, this is the hotel I'm staying in. That's it there. It's quite a nice hotel. So uh, let's get ourselves booked in. So I'll talk to you once I get booked in and uh, I'm in my room. Right, okay, so we've booked into the hotel. Um, it's quite a nice hotel. It's pretty small. I'll give you, show you around in a minute. Um, but yeah, it took me about 35 minutes to walk from the shopping centre up to the hotel. Uh, I stopped on the way to buy some breakfast for in the morning um, because I'm not having breakfast here and um, something light to eat because I had a big lunch uh, before. And uh, what I'm probably going to do then is hit the shower and go to bed because I've been up since five. It's been a pretty long day. Now they do have a an onsen which is a big bathhouse basically at the top here that I can use um, but I'm not going to use that cause I'm not in the mood uh, to be honest. Um, let me just show you around the room. Right, this is the room. Um, that's customary in Japan. You take off your shoes as you come in. Um, Hello, and we have our bathroom here. Small bath, shower. Yeah, it's really tiny. Really, just for a shower. And uh, your sink, all your amenities. Your bath. It's all right. I've already put my shower kit in. That's what that's there for. Um, and this is the bedroom. I'm going to walk down this side. So you see got a lovely widescreen TV. Um, and I've got a lovely kind of like queen size bed I suppose. Yeah, it's more than a double. It's more than a single anyway. Quite big for me. Um, and that's it. And I've got a little 
desk which I've got my food on um, at the moment and I've just kind of emptied out my pockets my pockets and my backpack um, if you want to see a video on this backpack check out my other videos this is my new EDC pack and it's doing great at the moment um, and I'll do uh, an update on how I've redone the rain cover on this to make it work better okay and that's it got a mini fridge usual things that's really it right so there you have it um, I'm all here now I'll get myself tucked in um, one little habit that I do now when I travel um, on my own anyway is that I don't really unpack everything um, I leave my clothes out for in the morning they're ready right where I need to get into them um, I pack away my dirty clothes um, the only thing I'll leave out then is uh, my wash kit for in the morning uh, everything else will be packed and ready to go the reason for that is I've had previous experiences where I was woken up at 2 a.m. in a hotel in London where there was a fire and we had to get out and I ended up standing outside in my um, dressing gown basically um, for nearly an hour, hour and a half and I got a massive cold out of it so I've decided since then that I'd always be prepared if there is a fire I can jump into some clothes and grab my kit and get out um, because you don't know how long you'll be standing outside or if you can even get back in you never know but there you go so uh, yeah that's it for the moment um so i'm just gonna sort myself out and uh, go to bed and i'll see you all in the morning good night well good morning and welcome world um it's the next morning i had a pretty good sleep um it got a bit noisy about 12 12 30. hang on let me just slow this down a bit more yep um Got, yeah, it got a bit noisy about um, 12.30 and then the super seemed to be doing karaoke downstairs. But then it, before one o'clock it all died away and um, it didn't start up again until about what, I think 6 a.m. Everyone's alarm clock started going off and everyone started kind of leaving the building. So it's actually 7.45 here and now, um, which is pretty late for me. I'm normally up and getting ready to go to work already but since where I'm working today is literally a 30 minute walk away and I don't need to be there till 9.45 say um, I've still got plenty of time so I'm uh, having my breakfast I've got some coffee some yogurt and I'm eating some breadsticks that's my breakfast for this morning and uh, looking at the weather um, it looks like it's going to be rainy all day today um, it's not a good weather forecast at all from now right through the day it's going to be even then sunset it's going to be heavy rain all day for where I am um, yeah they're saying showers all day lows of 6 highs of 12 so it looks like it's going to be a very wet day luckily I've got my rain gear with me so I'm not too bad um, as you can see uh, I've got my bag all packed up um, I've got my raincoat drying up over there. I have my rain pants, which are at the bottom of this at the moment. Um, they're all dried up. And I've got my rain cover as well. And I've got my rain hat. So we're kind of prepared for the rain. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm trying to get a new pair of shoes at the moment, um, which I only got the day before yesterday. I'll do a view on them later on. I wanted to try them out. They're supposed to be waterproof, so we'll see how waterproof they are, because it's pretty heavy rain. Um, and that's really it so um, I'm gonna hang around here until I need to, to leave and then I'll check out and uh, head to work uh, I might do a little video on the way up show you some of the sights around because it'd be bright then and uh, I'll show you what the community is like um, one of the things I always bring with me um, in my EDC is this little pouch here. This used to be my get home pouch but I've changed it and now it's my electrical pouch so usually I keep different types of um, USB and other types of connection ports for my iPhone 4S and I have an iPhone uh, 6S connection port there. I've actually also got uh, an emergency light. This is to go on your iPhone. When you're recording, so they say you've got pretty dark. Um, screen cleaner. 
I'm just charging up my power bank there. I got another power bank in here. And uh, yeah, I was charging everything up all last night. So that's one thing I always keep with me every day because basically because I, I need it. Um, I'm always out and about and I don't always know if I got a charging point somewhere. So I gotta be connected. But there you go. Right, so I will see you later, hopefully outside. And uh, let's see how the weather goes. Right, so we've checked out and uh, it is just pissing down outside. That's all I can say. So I have like an hour and a half before work. So I'm going to go up to the big train station now and get some money on my ticket. And uh, then head round and walk down to the uh, to my classroom. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, as you can see, where I stayed is basically a built-up area with just nightclubs everywhere. That's all there is, just nightclubs. And that's why it was so noisy last night, because it was extremely noisy last night, um, up until just after midnight, as I said. And, uh, and it kind of went quiet. But uh, yeah, here we go. Not very much around. So uh, let's go to the train station. Right, um, I'm at Maragume Station and I came across this a really weird art gallery. And this is the station here. This is the main big station. Um, that's here. So I'm hoping now I can find uh, a ticket machine which will allow me to put money on my train card. Um, as you can see, there's not much around this place. It really is. It's kind of a shopping arcade over there. Now I have to, to tell you today is a bank holiday, so it's uh, yeah, I'm working bank holidays. I know. But uh, people not doing much. Taxi men. There go. So there's not many people moseying about. Found the main ticket place. Okay, just gonna go inside. Right, so that was a bummer. Um, they don't take my travel pass card um, here. So, what am I gonna do? Right, okay. So it just means that uh, when I finish work, I'm going to have to walk up to here and buy my ticket over the counter to get back to Okayama and then the Shinkansen back home. So now we're going to walk back to the shopping center and get ready for work. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, I want to show you something I found. And it's these. They are painted prints of where you're supposed to stand across the road. And there's one over there. And you see it over there. And there's another one over there. Now, I can understand your feet are supposed to go here, but what's that for? Is it me just having a dirty mind or what? But. I can't figure it out what the center one's for. Yeah, I just have a dirty mind. That's what it is. These ones are painted better. You'll have a look. See? The shoe prints, we must stand. Most of the way down to where I got off the last train. As you can see, it's not, they're just building up houses. It's kind of like uh, old farmland, which they're slowly, slowly turning into a um, to a new town, basically. And uh, there's nothing out here. Literally nothing. Just houses, and houses, and houses, quiet houses. Every now and again you might get a barber's or a izakaya, a keep type place. A keep is a bar that you buy your own bottle 
and you keep it behind the counter and you drink your own drink then for the rest of the night until your bottle's gone and then you buy another bottle off the owner there you go but other than that there's nothing out here whatsoever right let's go out here now is it barbers Ooh. So yeah, you're probably wondering, why am I doing this before I go to work? Um, this is my exercise, my cardiovascular exercise. Uh, I spend most of my time sitting on a tiny chair, teaching kids all day in a room that has no windows to the outside, just either into the actual shopping center itself or no windows at all and uh, I don't get much exercise otherwise so I love to walk and recently I took up cycling so my wife bought me a bike it's quite nice and on my days off I try to do a bit of cycling but otherwise I have to walk and since I spent yesterday what, two, 2 hours 45 minutes basically sitting on transportation to get here and spent another 8 hours in the classroom I think it's about time I get some exercise before I do it all again tonight to get home. Yeah. I love the trains, so I can get out and walk beside the train tracks. So I'm walking down to the station I got off at. Because um, I'm sure I've seen a pass car machine there. But some reason the other station wouldn't take my card. If I can get that to work it'd be great because it will save me a lot of time and hassle um, going back. But if I can't I'm gonna have to then walk up to the big station, buy a ticket because there's nothing down here, it's just a platform basically where people get off and use their passes to get on and off. It's very much a uh, honor system here. And Japanese are very much into that. Not saying that everyone does it, but 99% of people do. It's only that 1% that don't, like everywhere else. And uh, it works here. So, yeah, let's go and check this out. As I said, it's just paddy fields. That's what these are. These are rice fields. It's out of season, so they haven't planted anything yet. But uh, they will do. Some people grow cabbages and some people grow sweet potato. But yeah, there you go. And here we have some uh, cherry blossom. Actually, no, this is not this is blossom. Cherry blossom. Yeah, cherry blossom. There you go. It's the beginning of the cherry blossom season. It will really start now at the end of this month um, and into April. That's when it will really start. That's it heavy rain doesn't come and wash it all away and destroy it. There you go. And this is the station I was talking about. And as you can see, as you can see, it's just platform. There's no station master, nothing. And there is these ticket machines, so I want to check them out, see what's going on. So uh, let's do that. So yeah, as I feared, um, it does take a coca, which is the card that I use, but it's only on certain stations, and so it still isn't widely used here. And uh, they don't actually sell the tickets back to Okayama, so uh, I'd have to adjust fares and everything else. So I think I'm going to go back to plan B, and when I finish work, walk straight up to the big station not much in the difference in time wise um, probably an extra 10 minutes walk which is fine and um, buy my ticket there at least then I can buy it directly from the ticket master and see how things go but uh, yeah it's just suburbia Nothing much here. Ah, 
have found a moss burger, which is a uh, Japanese style burger joint, very famous here. Um, they do good quality burgers of different sorts. A bit like McDonald's, but not as commercialized as McDonald's. So the quality's way better, I'll be honest. I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, downside on it is that the portions are, of course, Japanese size, which are small. Which is fine. There needs to be something or something with animal fat. That's a mess, Moss Burger. And we got a red man at the moment, so we're going to wait. chill is quite bad. I will say it's quite cold now, the wind chill. But, uh, that's it, so I'm going to show you now where I'm walking. And as you can see, there's not much out here at all. It's quite suburban and country life. A little town, maybe a population of a uh, Four thousand people, and that's it. And I would say the majority of the population are in their fifties. But within saying that, like where I work today, we're hitting classes of uh, seven and eight kids per class. So it's pretty busy. So there is a young population, but really you'd need to, to double or triple that to uh, pan back on its feet population-wise. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Japan is suffering a uh, shortage of young people. Everyone's too old. I just wanted to have a look at the mountain ranges here. They're amazing. I don't know if you can see that in the background. Just there. The mountains are going into the clouds. The clouds are so low. And uh, yeah, they're steep mountains, steep mountains and full of forests. Uh, very thick forest undergrowth. So uh, you're looking at bush hiking all the way through. Which anyone who does bush hiking, it's very tiresome, very long, very hard to do. Now, found the feet again now I know what the middle one is it's even more confusing it's an alien's foot can't be a duck because there's no web pieces why would it have a bird's foot I don't know ah pelican crossing just an idea it might be a pelican crossing I thought pelicans had webbed feet but there you go all right Right, okay, um, finished work, and again, it is pissing down out of the heavens. I've not been very lucky at all with the weather. Um, so, there you have it, that's just the way it is. Um, it's just not gonna happen. So, luckily it said I got my rain gear on, and uh, we're trudging on. So today I've made a decision that I'm not going back to the small station that I originally arrived at. I'm going back to the bigger station, Madagamu station itself, the main station, because um, at least there I've got a ticket master that I can buy the correct ticket back to um, Okayama that I need to get the Shinkansen back to Kobe. So my train 
I believe is at 8 o'clock and now it's about 20 past 7 again. It takes us about, it goes, it takes me about 20 minutes to get out of these safety um, the classrooms and get through security and everything. So uh, that gives me a good 45 minutes or so to get up to the station. Um, the walk itself is supposed to be about, well, the walk is about 30 minutes, so I should have plenty of time. So I'm just going to crack on now and get to the station. Uh, there's nothing to see, it's dark, wet and miserable, and as you can see, there's not very much light anyway. So I'll talk to you once I get to the station, alright? Right, I got to the station, okay, and <laughs> I am just soaking wet. Um, my shoes are just sopping wet as well and the rain certainly come from a raincoat and uh, just dripping off the end of me. It is just really really lashing down, it's storm weather out there, the rain's coming down at an angle and it's just pelting down. And uh, as you can see there's not many people here. Now I was going to get the um, 10 past 8 train but there's another train before that at 7.57 so I'm going to get that I just got to get that two stations down and change trains to another one then that's going to go back across the bridge and take me to Okayama. Um, so I might be a little bit ahead of myself, we'll try and see if I can be and get home a little bit earlier. Um, but I might end up waiting at the other station for the same train we need to get anyway. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I will uh, talk.
going to get the earlier train of 8.32. Okay, and that's going to start back in Majors and then Saka. That's the Saka train, which is the cherry blossom. So I'm going to get that one. Here we go. So, our journey is nearly to an end. Hopefully I can get the seat. Um, if I get a window seat, I'll do some filming. If not, I'm afraid I'll have to wait till the other end. Food. I'll say I'm cold and I'm very wet and I just can't wait to get home. It's been a long, long day. And now I'm heading towards the subway to get the subway home. That's it. It's now it's, uh, 10.28 at night and then uh, that's it. I'm finally back in Kobe. I've got a, got a 20 minute walk to get home and uh, I can't wait now to have a shower and get out of these wet clothes and just get into bed. It's been a very, very long day and a very long trip. 
thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've liked this video, please check out my other videos. I do a lot of uh, reviews and some hiking videos as well. If you want to leave me a comment, make sure it's a nice comment. And uh, I'll try to reply back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again...